Does this come in, guys, a bit more? This company, some of you already know, is a privately owned family business, so we're not that big compared to others like HKS or whatever. We have two rooms in this building that is temperature controlled all year round. This is one of them. This is the R&D lab. So we have 200 dyno rooms here, dedicated purely for R&D only. Uh, they have an RB25 on there right now, so you, you're lucky today because you can actually see it running. Um, this other room is just got SR in there, you can see. They're soundproofed as well because we have residential next door and they always complain. And we have a test engine for every application that we have products for. Not many companies in Japan has this setup. So you can see that there's a lot of other cables and sensors that are feeding into the engine. You don't have any problems with other interferences from the chassis or whatever. So we can put sensors and test every part of it to see where we can improve on. So that's the benefit of having an engine dyno. Take you to the next room. Okay, this is our machine shop, as you can see. They do the mass production grinding of the camshafts on that machine over there. Prototypes and special ones are done on this one, which is the really old one, because this is more precise than the newer one. In this room, you can see that they do um, hand porting on the cylinder heads, and that's all that they do in that room. Still pretty much old school, traditional style, because our clientele base is other shops, so it's B2B. They tell us what they want, and then we do it for them. So you can see one of the brothers of the uh, founders here. He's actually retired, but he still comes almost every day because it's just his passion. He's been here designing every single camshaft for 40 years. Every single camshaft that we had since day one, he's the guy who designed every profile. No CNC, no CAD or anything like that, just purely hand to paper by pencil. Then he'll take it upstairs and there's this like prehistoric fossil typewriter. Punches it all in, it punches out a ticker tape. Feeds a ticket tape through this machine here. And then the cam is made. Okay, this is the other room that is temperature controlled all year round. This is where all the engine assembly gets done. They usually leave everything lying most of the day until it's, everything is exact same temperature. Then they start measuring all the clearances and everything. And one of the main reasons is to keep consistency so they can run the tightest clearances and the precision tools calibration is usually around 20 degrees. They log everything, who builds it, the time of the day, the temperature as well, and then every single clearance and what is used and all that. If there's anything that needs to be rebuilt later, they can refer to that shop, what we used and what bearing sizes and whatnot. So they use like a brand new block, brand new cylinder head. The block is just lightly touched just a home, so it's not bored out the maximum, so you still have room to grow. So if there's something that you need to do later and you need to bore it out again, you still have another two or three chances before you have to sleeve it. Not everything that you'll see here is ours. Sometimes other shops who can't do it, they send it to us and we do it for them. So sometimes you'll see some used stuff, sometimes bizarre stuff like a 40-year-old car and you can't get camshafts for those anymore. In those cases is like special. Then it will take him like two to three weeks to make just the one cam. He just gets a billet rod, just one rod, and then he'll just manually grind everything. Journals, everything, then the load lasts and just takes quite a while. But it's pretty cool to see. Interestingly enough, some with the RBs, they actually run them in boats. Really? Yeah, so not always cars. Do they Insane. go crazy with them or do they leave virtually stock or what? They put an RB in a boat. Of course yeah. they go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just remember tomorrow is early, so don't stay up too late tonight because um, the bus will leave on time tomorrow for the uh, auto salon. Any questions?